You're here about the flight logs. Yes. yes. Beautiful. Give me one second to grab the technician okay. here. Okay, yeah. and we'll get a call back when it's. And you guys would ship it out? Yeah, exactly. So, so we would send it off, and then it takes usually a week, week and a half to two weeks sometimes to okay. for them to get it. Okay. Once they get it, they get, tell us what what's going on, and that's when one of us would reach out to you. What's up guys? Welcome back to my daily life. Glad to see you guys joining me on another daily excursion. You guys are probably wondering where the hell I am right now. I am smack dab downtown in the Halifax Public Gardens. Now this isn't any ordinary gardens. This was actually built in 1874 by the algamation of two other older gardens. But there's a dark history to it and I came to sneak a peek. Chelsea and I have been here maybe sometime last year during the summer. We weren't for sure whether the story was real and we found out. You'll see a lot of beauty in this place. As beautiful as it seems, there was an execution here, a hanging back in the day in the 1800s, sometime around there, and I came to sneak a feel. You guys know me by now, I always do this stuff, but it is a pretty beautiful path. Now, I'm most likely not gonna do an investigation here right now. No spirit box, no nothing. Pushing aside all the spiritual and paranormal stuff and all the history, this is actually a really nice park. In the summertime, it's a lot better, but kind of get that inner city it's kind of like a like a new york vibe to be honest like this actually reminds me of something you can film a movie in you know some scenes or whatever you even got ducks over here that aren't in the pond that should be hey little guy what's up little ducky i don't know if people come here to feed the ducks but there's a lot that just kind of chill walk around you know sniff eat stuff now upon walking up onto the grounds here now this is a pretty big park but as soon as you walk onto the grounds here even from the street behind that fence onto the ground where i am right now there is a huge difference in just energy and charm like you just get that feeling that you know stuff went down here now i don't know the history i don't know the backstory to like why the guy was executed but you guys know me came to seek a feel into whatever could be here i mean unfortunately this place is off limits after dark but as you guys can see there's like a huge chunk like all these trees are like hundreds of years old and it's like straight up in the middle of the city smack dab yeah so that's what i'm doing today just kind of thought i would start off this vlog with just a random location you know i've always wanted to come here and just kind of walk around get the feel but later on in this vlog, you guys will be seeing us go back to the DJI store to see what's up with their drone. I totally demolished it. It literally fell out of the sky. Like, I'm not even playing when I say this. If you guys do have drones, pay attention to the error message that says motor overload because I didn't get it until it was up in the sky. Everything was good. Everything was calibrated and updated. And once it was in the sky, about 23 feet up, I think, it straight up fell out of the sky and I watched it crash in front of my face. So make sure everything is updated and calibrated and everything's up to date. I really hope we can get that by the time you leave for America. I highly doubt it because we haven't even went in yet. We've been extremely busy this past week and we gotta give them our whole backstory and our flight schedule with the drone and everything. So it's still in process, still gotta wait. I am truly intrigued about this place now. Like I really hope that one day we can come in, maybe do some spirit box or whatever. But this is basically a closer look at to what this place is. I don't know what the other gardens look like in the past. If you guys have been following our life, we recently moved here within a year and a half. So we're going on two years already. Surprisingly, that's... Damn. That is so crazy to think. For the people that have been following our life from Ontario, Canada, to here, it's already been two years. That is incredible. Time flies, man. Time's been flying like nothing man like it's just like one day it's just halloween the next day you're in the new year like that's how it's been feeling the past few months like man just one thing after the other everything's just coming up so fast it feels like you really got no time to do anything and i know a lot of people are in the same boat with that okay so this is actually what i was talking about this is the area in the summertime where they got like I'm not even joking guys, probably over 20 different types of flowers. And they spread all along the glass up there. There's a security guard right there. I would definitely try and go in it, but he's pretending that I don't notice him and that he's not there. Now I wonder where exactly the execution happened. I don't think there's like a memorial or a sign for it. I don't even think there's any recognition for it. It's kind of like under the rug type thing, but it happened here somewhere on the grounds, probably 
probably that big because i think back in the day every execution was public so this makes sense hate to really be so blunt today but i don't know this is kind of the vibe on the channel this is what you got to expect with us man like, imagine this being your backyard literally like imagine having your house and all of this was just yours to so just walk around you made all these paths you have a gazebo you have haunted history like this would be the life so we are seriously trying something here and we're trying to get our drone ready for america and i don't think it's going to be ready for america personally but we are truly trying to figure this out it's been uh, extremely busy for us this week so we're pulling up to the drone store to see if there's a possibility that we can that we potentially can bring potentially. our drone to the states yeah i highly doubt it but I actually didn't know there was a drone store here either. I find that very odd that there's a drone it's store so in random. Dartmouth, Nova Scotia when like Ottawa, Toronto, like the other really big cities don't have this. Yeah, it's just chilling right there. I greatly appreciate this. <laughs> it's hopefully. so convenient. Yeah, the hopefully they can save our butt. Currently they still have our drone. So we're gonna go in and see where the status is at. We might actually have to send it into DJI and we'll get it back probably in the next month or so. But uh, yo, it's busy why is it so busy because everyone's doing their errands should we try and find a closer spot maybe i'll park like over there or something yeah yeah so right now we're in a little weird kind of cute little square <laughs> there's like a bunch of little stores and stuff what yours is here because i actually drink my coffee <laughs> I know, sometimes I just get it to look at it, apparently. You, you buy a coffee, take a few sips, and uh, it's still there by like five o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. Sip it, drink it. Oh, that's a good one. Drink so it. before we talk about what, what we're doing right now, for my fellow Canadians, or actually some places in the States do have Tim Hortons, but getting an iced coffee at Tim Hortons is like playing Russian roulette. You never know if you're gonna get a good one. They're never so the true. same. Yeah. Sometimes they taste like caca. Sometimes they taste like heaven, which is this one. Yeah, mine tasted really good too. Yeah, it's good. I know because I actually drank it. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> so right now we're heading in to see our status now. I'll update you guys on what's happening now. It's been super stressful. As you guys know, we live a very busy life. In the past week, we've been taking care of Key because she had an injury. And we've just been like all over the place with doing a million things. You've been working. It's just been like all over the place. You guys know what's up. Basically, the other day, if you guys missed our main channel, we dropped the drone probably, what, 20, 20 feet. 25 feet? And it fell down in front of my eyes and just smashed. The arm broke, a couple propellers broke, and I don't know. It was a sad no sight. Yeah. We brought it into DJI, and they're doing like an internal test. They may actually have to bring it into or send it into the DJI manufacturer. Which center. I think is back in California. And we're leaving for America in like a few days. Woo! So, yeah. Ikea. We don't know if we're gonna get our drone back. I we're wish hoping. Could come to America. Yeah. But you're gonna go to your grandparents. That's a vacay for you and a half. You okay, Key? Yeah, it still hurts a little bit. I know what will help. Oh, wow. Does my little mama want some snacks? Oh my god, look at that. Alright, just eat the rest of them. <laughs> you deserve it. Here you go. Go to town, kid. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow, that was considering I just gave you the whole bag. Here. You Good girl, Key. Over. There you go. Can you whisper? Can you whisper? She says, no, mom. I just want no. the damn treat. <laughs> so currently, we're going to go into the DJI store. I don't know if I'm going to be able to film this, but we're going to see where it's at and tell you guys if we're going to be able to bring our drone to America. If not, I guess we're just going to be SOL with drone shots. It sucks because I took a course on Skillshare and it taught me a lot of like directional stuff, which I wanted to try as we, you know, toured down south. I also just hope like it's under warranty still. I don't. Because I don't know if they automatically do it though. Yeah, I feel like it might not be under warranty since it was technically a crash, even though like it was not our fault at all. So usually you get the uh, care package or the care refresh thing. So it's a drone warranty that you pay for for a year and you renew it after a year. And but, uh, we, didn't get, we didn't get it and we should have. I think we will be. If you guys have never owned a drone, every drone owner, no matter if they're licensed or not, crashes their drone at one point or the other. Yeah, you know that from experience. This is our third okay, drone, everybody. Okay, chill for us. I'm, I'm, chill. I'm not a bad drone owner. I'm not a bad drone owner. I've only took out a couple. 
maybe three. This is your third. Okay. I'm very third careful. One's a charm, I, though, right? This one this one actually wasn't truly my it fault wasn't. because I didn't get the error message until it was up in the sky. The other two and were. I, but this one was no, not your fault. I'm a good drone flyer, I promise. Like I'm not I'm not irresponsible. I don't fly it in busy areas. I actually fly it out in the open, so <laughs> it was just Okay, you got a drone stuck in the sky, okay? I don't know how anyone could ever do that. Because but the remote this, the wasn't working. No, like the drone literally paralyzed in the sky. Okay. Well, you flew a drone under a tunnel with water where you know it's gonna lose signal okay. and the drone went for a swim. And then <laughs> you flew the drone into a big tree, may I add? Like, I don't know how you didn't see the Okay, tree. yo, those were early times in my drone days, okay? Like, that, gonna, that was like gonna, beginner Omar. If you're gonna play that, I'm gonna give it right back to you, baby. Okay, this is a battle of the drones here. Battle I'm not, of the like, drone. I'm not trying to, like, you know, one-up you. You know, it's just, it's not like I'm that. competitive. Yeah, you are competitive. We're just staying in positive <laughs> thoughts right now because, you know, we... Yeah. Love our drone. We spent like over a grand on that thing. So, he like, doesn't we wanna... like the drone. No, nah, she hates it. <laughs> I know. You're gonna hate this. She just really hasn't been listening. So, I know. We gotta keep your paws safe, okay? Yeah, she's gotta wear the cone anytime yeah. she's alone. I know, I know, I know. This might look a little. I'm not. No, no, no. <laughs> she's like, no, dad, no. At one point, she just kind of accepts it. So, like, she'll like <laughs> try and dodge it, and then she's like, fine. I guess. I know, Key. She's on the road to recovery, but I don't know. We'll be back in like probably 10, 15 minutes. Not even, Not baby. Even. Okay. Look at that cute little face. <laughs> you look like the big, you look like that Teletubby son. Oh, yeah. They should have used your face on the Teletubbies, huh? All right, she's defeated. Yeah, it's cool. You're going to be good. It won't be long, Kia. I don't really got good hopes for it, but yeah, it is what it is. I don't think we're going to have it for the trip. Yeah. But as long as they fix it and we get it back at some point, then... Yeah, that's, that's all, all that really can... matters, right? Yeah. You're here about the flight logs. Yes. yes. Beautiful. So, One second, you grab the technician okay, here. Right. So we got to get the flight records here. Um, we used Chelsea's iPhone, and surprisingly, our new drone does not accept Android. Some Androids, I should say. It doesn't but, like yours. No. Profile. <laughs> what? I, I don't know if you can see that, but our drone name is Ricardo the Drone. <laughs> Poor Ricardo. Alright, do you have that uh, phone there? Yes. Yeah, excellent. What was the last name we had to repair on? This is actually the drone that we have. It's the Mini Pro 3. Um, one of the best ones we've actually ever had. Yeah, we need one of those. Hefty. Look at this thing. Bruh, yo, the camera does no justice. This thing is huge. Like, I don't even know what that would be for. Like, movie filming? Actually, I think this one has, like, radars and x-ray stuff. It's actually incredible. Damn. It's a nice lens. Yeah, you need one of those, huh? Is that Nikon? It's a fake camera. Oh, but it's not, like, branded or anything? Damn, look at that thing. That's like a nice setup, eh? I think that's the gimbal that makes it like super stable. Yeah, this one's a the DJI RS3 Pro. Pro. Damn, that thing alone is a great. This one's like the gimbal Osmo one. They're called Osmo. Yeah, but can you put your camera on that one? No, I think it's just for phones. Okay. It's still really cool. Yeah, it's kind of like... Hello? What in the heck? Actually, I think that's the automated one. It just kind of goes around automatically. Everything is incredible here. I wish I could grab this all. It's crazy though. Like, you would never know how expensive these things would go for. This one here is $2,600. Four grand for the whole kit. This one is Osmo Pocket. Oh my god, it's a little camera right here. Oh, so you just hold it. It's its own little camera? So little. Oh look, it's got a screen in the back. Yeah, so you just press record. And then that is crazy. I didn't even know oh, that thing yeah, existed. Look. And they got an action cam? Whoa. Dude. Uh, so, yes, uh, when, when, uh, so, actually, this is the flight, right? Yes. Motor error check propellers when, uh, so that happened right away when you took off? Did no, it do anything weird? No, I didn't get it until it was in the sky. Okay. So like it was just about the girls about to hit record and it gave me that error. So I clicked on it and told me to land it. 
Okay. The was landing it and it was going down and it just stopped. Okay. The propeller is in mid air and everything. Right. Okay. So the one thing would the one thing we need to do here is uh, right when you have a Wi-Fi when you go home and you have a Wi-Fi connection, you just hit enable here okay. and uh, and then. What is the email account that you used for? No, can I connect data to this, or do I need Wi-Fi to actually get uh, that? So what would happen? And so they just take a look at the flights. Yeah. And then so basically, what happens is once a drone crashes and you send them the hardware, there's no way to tell, right? Exactly what happened. Right. So that's why DJI introduced this flight log thing, like way back in the day, and it's constantly recording all system information. As okay. to what's happening with the drone. Oh, really? Yeah. I so think it did it, but I don't know. Okay. So this is hmm. nine. All aircraft. Right. Okay. And yeah, this should be all synced. Yeah, the cloud icon tells us that it's synced. Okay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, basically they would just look at the flight log and then they'll assess it that way because they would have the hardware itself and also what happened during the flight, right? So they'll be able to tell exactly what happened. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. It's definitely worth it to just send it away to them because uh, uh, like it should be covered under warranty. In case. There was no impact, right? Like it did not no fly in contact with anything. Clear. The error, you took off the error popped up and as you were bringing it down. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so uh, let uh, leave this with us. We have the email ad address. We'll open up the case with DJI okay. and uh, give them the email address that. Uh, okay, yeah. and we'll get a call back when it's like you guys would ship it out, I guess? Yeah, exactly. So are you, you're not local around here. We're right? over we the Right, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so uh, yeah, as to, so we would send it off, and then it takes usually a week, week and a half to two weeks sometimes to, okay. for them to get it. Okay. Once they get it, they get, tell us what, what's going on, and that's when one of us would reach out to you. Okay. Sounds yeah, good. Let me just make okay. sure we have all your contact info. Okay. You guys have a safe trip. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Take care. All right, well, you guys heard all of that. We gotta wait probably a few weeks. Yeah, but hey, at least no. you were saying it might be covered under warranty, so that is Let's a hope. huge bonus. So they would fix anything internally, externally, the arms, the propellers, anything that went wrong with it. I wonder if I can like ask them to paint it. <laughs> While it's there, can you guys paint it like a nice like pink? You know, like <laughs> look at you. We told you we weren't going to be long. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Chill, chill. Yeah, she really wants to. Hey, yeah. hey, 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 hey. Chill, hon. Chill, chill. I know. All right, it's good to come off. Okay, I'm taking it off. There yeah, you go. Sweet. There you go. No, we're not going to go out here. This is a parking lot, baby. Yeah, you won't have fun in the parking lot. You like that fresh air, huh? Good girl. <laughs> All right, go back, back, back. Back, 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 Key. Good. At least that air is done for the day. And now, uh, we don't have to yeah. worry about it. It's not like it's gone forever. It's just gone for a little bit. No, but it's in the still... States, there's so much I just wanted to capture. I know. The drone, you know? And... But thankfully, like, Angelo does have a drone. So just bring your SD card and ask Angelo if you can just slot it in his. Yeah, and then... it's real quick and stuff. Yeah, that way, like, it's I mean, not... it's the same exact drone. He has the same drone yeah. we got, so... Just don't crash on Angelo's. No, no. <laughs> I'm just teasing Imagine... if you're watching this, Angelo, he won't crash his drone. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they take out Angelo's too. They're all screwed. I, I actually won't take out the drone. I'm not a bad driver. I'm though. just teasing you. Like I really am not. Like I promise, I'm not a bad flyer or nothing like that. I take my time, especially when you pay so much for it. Yeah, no, you that's know, true. like we paid like how much for our drone? Canadian. Oh, I don't know, like twelve hundred. Twelve, thirteen hundred without yeah. a warranty. Like the warranty would have added a little bit more too. I don't even think they asked us about a warranty. Maybe. maybe. I don't remember. I don't remember. But we tried. Yeah. It is what it is. This is a sad moment because I just I really wanted it fixed by the time we go to America. It is what it is. Yeah. Basically, that's our news for the day. Um, this isn't going to be like a long vlog or anything, but pretty soon we're going to be heading to America. So keep in tune with the channels and see what we're going to be up to because we have a lot of cool things planned to come up and show you guys. And it's going to be a fun ride. So you ready? I'm ready to get out of here. I'm ready to get out of this cold weather. Like there's no snow, but it's it's just cold like it's just brutally cold it's Every honestly not that cold it was colder last year but still i'd like to be in like florida like some days are pretty cold <laughs> i'd like to be in a swimsuit swimming in the ocean with turtles i'd like to be swimming with the sharks in my bikini and like you know like tanning on the beach and you know like Do you think just I can find a shark you know. tooth? what do you think i can find a shark tooth 
Maybe. Why? What, what are you doing with a shirt, dude? I want to wear it and then show like, everyone, like, like uh, I did this. I wrestled a shark for that shark, dude. You can tell we're waiting to get into the warm weather. So if you guys don't know, we're going down to Miami and Key West, hopefully. Georgia. Hopefully. North Carolina. Yeah, we're going to be chilling through North Carolina. Georgia, Savannah. Mm. Um, we're gonna be going to the sister city, apparently Charleston. So yeah, hopefully, we've been there. So yeah, I just want to see palm trees and like those pineapple trees. You know I what just I mean? am so excited to see all of the different dogs in the states. And maybe one day we'll take Sir Chico. Baxter. Well, <laughs> what did you say, Chico? Yeah, we'll go back. You're still Ch on with Chico? Well, yeah, we'll go back to Texas and get Chico. Chico's still running around the neighborhood, running shit. He's mine. <laughs> Chico man. So keep in tune with this channel. We're ready. I tell you, we're just ready to get out of here. So we're gonna be fat. What's, what's the date today? The twentieth? The nineteenth? Eighteenth? The nineteenth? Yes, it is. Okay, so we got six days until until we're out of here. As of this video is posted right now, like probably five days, four days, four or five days. Getting so close. We pack. So we're packing and all that stuff. Keep it tuned with the channel. We love you guys so much. It's unfortunate about our drone. I guess it is what it is. So on with the new and on with the next. Love you guys so much and we'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Peace.